All right, at this point, we're just working our way down our HTML document. And if you remember, we were just dealing with the container div, as we see right here. At this moment, we can address the fact that we have a header div to deal with. There's really not much I want to deal with when it comes to the header, um, specifically because I don't really need any background image or anything like that in there. But I will address it nonetheless. And we'll start with a selector called header. And we'll put in our open and close information. There you go. And within that header then, I'm going to insert some information specifically addressing you know, maybe the background color. And I'm just going to give it a very light, subtle background color simply because I want you to be able to recognize and differentiate the header from other elements and see how big it is and whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to come in here and insert a very simple color scheme which we will eventually be getting rid of. There's really nothing um, to worry about here as far as color is concerned. I'm just putting in some placeholder color so you can see what the header is. Now, as far as the header goes, we don't need to give it any other values. The width is just stretching out. A div is a block level element, so it's going to stretch out to be as large as the container that's holding it. So, in essence, our header is in fact a width of 960. So I don't have to put in a very specific amount. If I had an image that I wanted to introduce in there as a background, then perhaps it'd be a good idea for you to give a value for height, like a height of 100 or even more, in fact, depending on how big you want your element to be. We're not really concerned about that, so I'm not putting an element in there, an image, um, as at at this particular moment in time, we may eventually do so. So I'm just going to leave the header blank at the moment, aside from a very simple background color. Now, if I were to save this, and then if we were to preview this in the browser yet again, and just hit refresh, you can see that that header area is highlighted in this different color. If I go to my HTML, Perhaps we can make this header look a little bit more interesting just by giving it a H1 tag. So I'm going to put the H1 tags around that header and the logo. And if I save this page and then preview it in our browser, we should see that it says insert logo here. Don't worry about the fact that everything's touching the edges and looks really tight. If that's the case, perfectly fine. And as you'll see, we can give some extra margin or space to any of these elements. If I wanted to give some margins to the box called header up and down, that's fine. But even left and right would be okay because I don't have a specific value for the width of this header. So at the moment, I'm pretty happy with the way it is. I don't necessarily need to give it a height value or anything along those lines. That's perfectly fine. I don't have to worry about its positioning because it's right at the top and we're not really dealing with anything else with regards to our specific header information. So that's it for the header. When we come back, we're going to now deal with the two columns that are going to be next to each other, the nav and the main.